Hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. And I'm watching and waiting for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to take us home in a pre-tribulation rapture. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well, and that you have what you need. So guys, on this Monday, I've got a, I've got a handful of verses here that's really going to set the tempo for the week. These are really good verses. I've got Corinthians, Philippians, Hebrews, John, and Jeremiah. And today's title... Uh, for the video is going to be be watchful because that's what I keep saying and what I believe in my heart and my mind is that Jesus is about to take us we are going to see the Lord descend himself the dead in Christ will rise first those that are alive and that remain which would be you and I we're saved we're going after them we're going to be raised up so why don't you get your coffee get you a snack get something that you want to eat Come over here and let's have a nice Bible study. It's a beautiful day out here. The heat is, the heat's kind of settling down. Kind of scared to say that in Florida, you know, for fear it might come back. But right now it is pretty nice out here. So let's enjoy it together. And we're going to go to him in prayer. We're going to give him thanks. And then we'll get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for dying for me on the cross. Thank you for eternal salvation and forgiving me of all my sins. I pray that every listener have what they need today i pray that their families be healed their relationships be healed and that you give them the tools that they need to remain steadfast and to remain watchful in these last moments father i know you're about to take us even though i don't know the hour i choose to believe the time is at hand i can't thank you enough for what you're about to do i can't thank you enough for dying for me on the cross Please give me strength and courage and the power that I need to keep going to do these messages. Please bless everybody that listens to these, Father. If someone is not saved listening to these messages, I pray that these be the videos that lead them to you, Father. Please let these be your words spoken today. Please let me be a good messenger for you, Father, until you arrive. There's so much chaos and lawlessness right now and evil. We choose to turn to you and pray instead of getting angry, Father. We choose to stand and choose you today, Father. I give all the glory to you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's here. Jesus is so good. I'm telling you he's here. The Holy Spirit is here. I love how when you're praying, or at least me, and a, and a, nice, a nice breeze comes by, it just comes out of nowhere. Imagine that. So today, be watchful. Listen to this. This is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and what I'm getting at is, should we be looking down right now? Should we be stuck in the past? Should we be worried about what somebody has said to us? Should we be worried about this person right here has not done what they said they're going to do? So it's going to affect my whole day and my whole life. No. What we should do right now, there's that breeze again. Thank you, Father. What we should be doing right now is being watchful, lifting one another up, bearing each other's burdens. Don't think for one second the enemy doesn't prance around like a roaring lion all the time, morning, noon, and night. Until one day when Jesus arrives and breaks that curse once and for all. You see, he's already defeated Satan, but we're still stuck in this world, in this place, right? So we have to contend with the prince of the air. We have to contend with all of these, these laws that they keep generating and changing that fit their agenda. But listen to this. While we're being watchful, listen to what this verse also commands us to do. It says, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. And then there's a period at the end of that. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let me tell you something. I've had a lot of different things occur in my life to where I could turn around and grab onto one of them and say, hey, you know, I'm still mad at this person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this. Everybody has that, right? But you gotta remember one thing. It doesn't matter in the end. You also have to remember what you're being commanded to do, who's commanding you to do it, how you're, how you're being told to conduct yourself. You don't want to get to the end of the race and be running and have that, that checker go across your chest right there, right? The finish line. 
you don't want to do that with your head hanging down and just walk across the finish line what i'm saying you want to be running upright with your chin up your chest out and when he arrives we want to be focused on him looking good feeling good and not down in the dumps right better better days better times are coming i assure you but while we're being watchful we have to do these other things we have to stand firm act like men that's not telling a woman to act like a man change who you are it's, it's not saying that it's saying be bold what is there to be ashamed about about the gospel and about jesus dying for us what is there to be ashamed about act like a man be a man i can tell you this while i'm right here i'll raise my hand i love jesus and i'm a real man i know that i am because i love him and because he lives in me and i abide by his commands that's a real man i'll tell you to your face today that's not being cocky or beating on my chest it's something that i know so if i know it i'm going to share it right i have to pay it forward i have to tell you these things he's done so many things for me i always tell you i wouldn't even be sitting here right now if it wasn't for the lord jesus is everything let me give you another verse right here philippians 3 20 when i always say forget about this world and don't be attached to it listen to this verse backing it up but our citizenship is in heaven and from it we await a savior the lord jesus christ that's it that's philippians 3 20 our citizenship is in heaven it's not here Imagine streets of gold or translucent streets you can see through. It's always daytime. We don't have a need for the sun. The light emits from Jesus. He is the light. All the jewels and all the stones that are in the walls, the get, there, there's no door. The, the gates are always open. You don't have a need for nighttime. There's no tears. Pretty sure we can fly. Pretty sure there's going to be some sort of a library there to where... You know, we're not Jesus, right? We've been made perfect, but nobody's God. Nobody's Jesus, right? So we're, we're made like him. Well, hey, we can use 100% of our brain. Who's to say there's not some, some sort of a library there? We can't go over there and, and continue to further our knowledge. I don't know. I've had different conversations like that with people in the past. Some think that. Some think, oh, there's nothing like that there. Some people think there's food there, and there's not. Okay, what about Feast of Trumpets? there's what I'm getting at is there's so many cool things that we're heading to we're heading to so 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 much better days don't you see here's proof right here telling you your citizenship is in heaven let me give you another one if you still don't believe me Hebrews 13 14 says for here we have no lasting city but we seek the city that is to come so if I'm crazy or I'm out of my mind and the rapture isn't gonna happen heaven isn't real where's this coming from I'm telling you today, I'm testifying today myself on my own video. This is the first comment on the video. Let's go. My king lives inside of me. He's real. My citizenship doesn't lie here. It lies in heaven. It awaits me. We're still stuck here in the flesh, guys. You're still, we're still going to have to contend with things. We're still, we're still going to fall down. We're still going to make mistakes. Go crawling back to the cross. You have to. I'm going to give you another one. John 3, 13. No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. So I put that one in there to say this. If you don't believe in Jesus and you worship something else, can your God do that? Did your God do that? No, nope, I'm afraid not. Nobody has. Nothing has except him. Look how awesome he is. He died for you. They beat him. They crucified him and put him in a a tomb for three days he died he came back to life on the third day and came out of the tomb and ascended to heaven performed miracles fed 5,000 he did he did so many things before he died and after he died he left instructions he healed the blind if you don't believe any of these things that a man died for your sins and rose on the third day and his instructions were if you want to be saved and resurrected like I was, you have to believe this. You have to ask him to come into your heart, repent of your sins. You have to choose him in order to have that new life. But you have to believe after that, 
I just gave you the gospel. You have to believe. You have to repent of your sins. You can't do that to a man in a box with Catholicism. You can't do that with Buddhist. You can't do that with Muslim, Islamic. You can't do that, can you? This is the only way. John 14, 6. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No other man cometh to the Father except by me. He's telling you. Nothing else matters except him. I'm going to give you Jeremiah 32, 17. I hope you make the right decision today. If you just heard that and it's getting at you, something's tugging at your heart, guess what? That's the Holy Spirit trying to get in there. Make a decision today before it's too late. They're signing a peace treaty over in Israel right now, them and the Palestinians. So even if it's not the peace treaty, to where we know as believers we're going to be raptured out of here because the Antichrist... His, the Antichrist is here, by the way. You, you you have to be born into the world. You can't have an Antichrist baby, can you? No. From what I've read as a child, is supposed to be from European descent, supposed to be a homosexual, supposed to be a, a very great speaker, right? It's supposed to be very articulate. That's why many thought it was Obama back in the day, right? Who knows? Who knows? But I know this. The next thing to happen on the, on the prophetic timeline is the rapture. I know... That, that peace treaty has to be signed because it kicks off the tribulation not the great tribulation it's seven years long at three and a half years at the halfway marker the antichrist is going to break that treaty so like i said even if it isn't today that's still a precursor to that treaty what they're signing over there go look at yesterday's video the links are down in the description box i've given you your verses guys i mean l listen to jeremiah 32 17 ah Lord God, it is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. I'm setting it down right there for today, guys. Nothing is too hard for you. Act like men. Be strong. Your citizenship is in heaven. And I hope you're jumping up out of your seat right now saying hallelujah. I'm a regular guy. I told you I'm a Florida country boy. I try to bring you out here and give you scenery. Just a guy on a golf cart talking about Jesus, right? watch what is about to happen i'm royalty i am richer than anybody that is attached to this world no matter what they have in their checking account i'm trying to tell you my king lives inside me we're almost out of here i feel it in my bones man I, I type it all the time in the comments i'm on the edge of my seat you think i'm playing around i say what i mean and i mean what i say all the time the time is at hand Make no mistake about it. I hope those that are left behind see every one of these videos, all the other watchmen and watchwomen, they do a magnificent job. I think they do a better job than I do, but you know what? I come out here and do the best that I can and try to give you those positive messages to, to reinforce to you. The time's at hand. Jesus is almost here. He really is. Don't stop talking about him. Don't be silent. Don't get down. If you do, reach out for prayer. That way other Christians can pray for you and you have some backup. Then you can get back in the fight and pray for others like myself. This isn't a one-way street, you know what I mean? I love you. I miss you. I'm praying for you. I hope you enjoyed today's message. If the rapture isn't right now or a few moments from now, like we always say, or even tonight, keep looking up and we'll see you up top.